If your videos are struggling to see a thousand views in the first 24 to 48 hours, then sadly you're just not able to compete against the larger channels because the algorithm is prioritizing their videos. But the good news today is that I'm going to show you a very simple strategy that will allow you to compete no matter what. And I guarantee you can apply this to your channel, but I want you just to do your best to be open-minded because it might take a few days for it to click. Like you're going to understand exactly what to do, but you might think, well, I'm not sure exactly how this will apply to my channel. Let's dive in. I'm really excited to share this with you. It's based on a number of strategies that will ensure success. Number one is we're going to leverage playlists. Number two, we're going to go back to simple fundamentals on YouTube that will allow you to show up in Google to drive views, that'll allow you to show up in YouTube search and browse everywhere that you want to be. And the more you say no, like, oh, I'm not interested in search. Well, the more you say no, the more you're saying no to solutions that might just help you achieve the success that you're after. And if you're new to the channel, hey, it's Brian. I've been a, a creator for a creator. Yes, <laughs> I've been a creator for a while. Let me walk you through this strategy. Now, this video that you're looking at is interesting. You see, what I did is I was really careful with the words that I chose for the video title. I wanted to make sure it was compelling. I wanted to make sure that it would be the kind of thing viewers would want to click on. And I leveraged YouTube search predictions. This is so fundamentally simple. And again, I, I guarantee that when you begin doing this and you just spend a little bit of time, five minutes could mean the difference between 50 views in a week, maybe 200 views in a month or 20,000 views. This video and this video is a great example because this is what I'm doing to bring my channel back. And I've got plenty of viewers that are returning and it, it just works. So what we want to do first is we're going to go to YouTube and I want to be aware of what my viewers might click on or search for, I should say, when they're looking for a video like the video I'm publishing. So in this case, it could be a voice clone, right? And when I uh, when I search, I'm going to see all these search predictions. And, and literally, this is it. This is the strategy. Again, fundamentals, but if you're not doing it, well then sadly, you're probably missing out on views. Now, here's what's really interesting. I have all these options, and I'm not necessarily thinking about the most views. I'm thinking about getting on base, especially if my channel is struggling. I'm thinking about how can I get to a thousand views in the the first 24 hours of a video's release. Then I think about how can I get to 5,000 views in the first 24 hours and so on. Now this is just one option, but if I come back and I go, well, what would a, a, another way that a viewer might search for this type of a search term? They might search for instead of clone, cloning. Ah, there it is. As soon as I started typing out clone, I noticed cloning. Now this is where things get really, really simple. You see, these are all search terms that people in my audience are likely to search for. And yet there's only one video that has one specific keyword phrase listed here. This search term hasn't been used by any videos before mine, which means I have a huge opportunity to so to so, <laughs> which means I have a huge opportunity to show up in YouTube search when somebody searches for this, AI voice cloning. Now, here's what's really important. This video below me has 380,000 some views. It's from CNET. They're a huge resource. And if I would have just been lazy and uploaded and maybe I'm like AI voice cloning tutorial, I would be losing out on getting about 100 views a day, which the video is straight out of the gate, 100 views a day. And the only thing I did was I, I started my video title with the exact search term I'm talking about, AI voice cloning example. And then I also included 2025. So watch what happens when I start searching like my viewers might search. If I type in uh, AI voice cloning 
tutorial, and then I'm gonna search for 2025. Uh, well, guess what? There I am again. That's fantastic. And this is exactly how I'm getting 100, 200, 300 views a day, which can make or break your channel, especially when you're getting started. Now, not, this is not the only thing we're going to do. This is just one super powerful strategy that you're probably not using. And sadly, you could be getting more views on YouTube. And I really I really hope you do. Here's another thing we need to do. You see, nobody knows. I don't have the answer for your specific channel. I don't know exactly the way forward for you. But what I can do is dramatically improve the odds based on, again, really thinking about the words, the topics, and so on that people will be searching for. One of the things I really recommend you do is don't get too niche down. You don't want to be so narrow that you're just in one lane and you only cover things like YouTube tips. For me personally, for a really long time, I've been looking for another subtopic that would allow me to compete in an area that's not so incredibly challenging. Fact is, you might think it's easy to make videos about getting views. Give it a shot. It's, I found it to be very challenging, but this method makes it more likely that I start getting views and then I can teach you my methods, which is to have multiple playlists covering different subtopics. So interesting, as I'm looking at this video on AI voice cloning, I'm interested in using AI in a responsible way, in a way that I'm always in control and I'm managing and crafting and creating. I'm not just pushing buttons Anyway, I'm going off topic, but imagine if you have one playlist covering, let's say you've got a cooking channel, uh, healthy recipes, chicken recipes, low fat recipes, 30 minute meals, that's it. Now you've got about four times the opportunity to find a subtopic that works under the umbrella of your channel. And the moment I started doing this is the moment when I started driving more views to my YouTube channel, because like I said earlier, when I launched this channel, I didn't know, would I be able to succeed with branding? Yes, some of my early videos did well, but there was one niche in particular, and can you guess what it was? It was video editing, but not video editing, that's still pretty broad, it was video editing on an iPad or an iPhone. And the moment I started making those videos, so many of them, like literally 75% of my videos started showing up in search and suggested. And then you can really go as far as you want with this strategy. One of the things I did back in the day was I actually created the playlist for iPhone uh, video editing. I created a playlist for branding and you can color code your thumbnails so when someone lands on your channel or when they see your videos on YouTube, they remember, well, Brian's videos were kind of tan, they had some purple and red, they looked a certain way, and when you launch your next video on that same subject, they're gonna be more likely to see that again. Now, currently, I'm more focused on just pushing out videos, but I may do that again. Like right now, it's interesting, most of my videos on AI have a blue background. Just matter of fact, it happened that way. But I might create all my videos about AI with a blue background so they kind of look a certain way and so on. And when you start implementing these, it's so incredibly powerful. Now, there's one thing I want to mention and that is TubeBuddy. One of the things is that you can use TubeBuddy to identify search terms that are not only, it's just not about what words people are searching for, it's about how well optimized are the videos that are showing up. And this section here, when you look at a particular keyword phrase, you get all kinds of information. First, you're gonna see additional search terms you may wanna consider, really helpful. Second, is this section here, which is gold, which is really all about how well optimized are the videos that are already ranking and showing up 
for this keyword phrase. When you see green and, and the bar is all the way to the right, it means you're gonna be more likely to get a boost when you use that search term because other videos aren't really optimized very well. It's not a big boost, but here's the thing, right? YouTube is about understanding what's most important and then stacking the deck uh, with these strategies. When you use the playlist strategy, great. Now you're gonna be publishing different videos and we don't know how the audience is gonna respond. We don't know where you're gonna get your break until you do. So that gives you a slight advantage. When you start looking at keyword phrases in this manner, it gives you a slight advantage. When you start testing thumbnails, again, it gives you a slight advantage. When you use AI to identify the right terms to include in your thumbnails, I should say phrases, compelling phrases based on human emotions like desire, FOMO and more, you'll be likely to do well. And this video on the screen now covers that exact thing. And this other video might explain why the algorithm is holding you back. Click on one of those videos, I'll see you there. This was fantastic, let's do it again real soon. You dig? <laughs>